I've been mainly working on two research domains, innovation in medical ultrasound, smart aging technologies. In ultrasound, I've been focusing on application-oriented ultrasound for healthcare. I started my career on biomedical ultrasound since I came to PolyU for my PhD study in 1993. The beauty of biomedical ultrasound is that it requires multidisciplinary knowledge and skills and can be applied in many different areas to help people in need. My interest in smart aging technologies, partially because ultrasound can be used for helping many aging-related diseases, partially because the aging population is such a big challenge. I wish to invent more devices to help people in need. Among my inventions achieved, scalar scan may be the one with highest impact. It is a device using our novel 3D ultrasound imaging technique to provide a radiation-free assessment for sclerosis. Scalar scan has now been successfully commercialized, and the startup company I co-founded has attracted over 100 million Hong Kong dollar investment up to now. It has been installed in multiple countries, including China, Australia, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, Poland. Scoliosis has served thousands of kids with scoliosis and reduced a lot of X-ray exposure for them. Scolios scan is not only used as a new medical device, but as a research tool to understand the mechanism of onset and the progression of sclerosis among kids. In the smart aging areas, with the support from PolyU, I have been coordinating research institute for smart aging, where my wish is that experts from different disciplines can work together to tackle some big challenges in aging area. One area I would like to focus more in coming years is ultrasound for brain imaging and assessment for both dementia early diagnosis and the stroke assessment, as well as for brain research. My another goal is to continue my coordination role for interdisciplinary research in smart aging. With the support of Hong Kong Jockey Club and PolyU, I believe will make some good impacts in helping smart and healthy aging, which is very much needed by the society.